Welcome to Support Videos for Workload Automation video series. In this video, you will learn how to make a control M agent run a job as a specific user on Microsoft Windows. Okay. Part of the flexibility of control M is that you can run jobs under specific user accounts. In this example right here, we have a script showed user.bat that we'd like to run under the job owner user. This script simply shows us the username and the user domain that's currently running the job. By default, when the control M agent is installed, the parameter login user is set to no. This controls whether the control M runs under the service count user ID or it runs under the user you've defined. So we're going to go ahead and run this job and take a look at how the agent is configured. Currently, the agent service is configured as local system. So that this means that the job, the context of the agent is local system. If we run CTM win CFG and we take a look, we'll see that the login agent is still set to, the login as user is still set to no. So when we come look at the output of our job, we're going to find that the job is still running under the local system account and in the domain work group. Now, if we go update the service to run under a service account, which we've already predefined, and we call the ctmag.service, and we need to go ahead and enter in its password. We'll see that we need to restart the agent. Now we're actually going to need to stop the agent and go kill all of its processes. And these start with the P underscore CTM A. And we see that we have an AM process here. And once we kill this, the agent's completely down. In versions eight and higher, this is what allowed jobs to continue running even after the agent services were stopped to emulate how jobs run on a Unix environment. So now when we go back and we restart the agent, we're going to see that the AG, the AT, and the AW are all running under the service account that we just defined. So if we take our job right here and we rerun it, we're going to see a slightly different output. we're going to see that we're actually running under the CTM AG service, but we're still under the domain of the system. Now, we still haven't gotten to the point where our job is running under the actual user we would like. So what we need to do here is we actually need to go run CTM win CFG and change the login user set to yes. And it's important that we save this parameter. And then we can go ahead and quit the utility. Now when we rerun the job, we're going to get something just a little bit different. And we're going to see that our job failed. Now if we go look at the log, what we're going to see, if we go ahead and expand this out a little bit, is that we have not defined job owner with a password yet. So if we go to the Configuration Manager and we find our Control M server, we can right click it, go to Security, and Run As User Authentication Settings. And what we want to do here is we want to add a new user. And we want to run, this user is going to be Job Owner. And we actually only want to define this for the Windows host that we're testing on. And we're going to put its password in here. And we're going to test it. And we're going to see that our credentials are valid. Now, the job owner does have to have the right log on as batch in the local security policy. If he needs any further rights for the job you're running, you will have to add those. If it happens to be that the job you're running needs a local administrator, then that user ID will have to be a member of the local administrator. 
So now we're going to take this job and we're going to go ahead and rerun it. And we now see that the job is running under job owner. Now, if you remember, we actually set this to run under the ctmag.service account. This is actually not necessary to run jobs under a specific user. This is only required if you're going to use WMI and you need to connect to a remote host. So we can actually change this back to local system. And remember, after we make this change, we do need to go kill the p underscore ctmag service after we stop the agent. And if we look right there, we'll go ahead and end this process. And now we can go ahead and start the agent back up. And if we rerun our job one more time, we will see that our job is actually still running as job owner as we had defined. Now keep in mind that if you do use a service account for the agent, this account must have a couple of local rights. It must have the ability to log on as a service, increase memory quotas, and replace process level tokens. And it does need to be a local administrator. The local administrator requirement is so that it can actually read the files that are generated by each user who's running the job, such as the sysout and status files. Thank you for your time. The workload automation support team looks forward to helping you should you need our assistance.